everybody. Today we're going to answer that age old question. I saw you with the box. What was in the box? What's in the box? Or in this case, boxes. I went on Craigslist last Sunday. I normally don't visit there much. I went on there probably like once every two or three weeks. I went on there and I did my standard searches and something popped up. Something that was not near me, but something I was really interested in getting. So I contacted the seller and I asked him, would you ship it? Expect, totally expecting it. Nah. Sure. So over the next two days, or actually over the next day, because he had to have it done in one day, I he boxed everything up, gave me the weights and dimensions. I went online, I bought the three different packing lists, or not packing lists, um, shipping labels. Emailed them to him, he went and had them printed at Kinko's and dropped these off at the post office, and two days later, I got boxes. So I'm going to open these boxes up. Um, I don't know what order I want to do them in. Do I want to do big or small? Let's start small and work our way up. Let's see if we get this. So let's take a couple things off the table here. And we'll go from there. They're heavy. Each box is about 25 pounds or thereabouts, plus or minus. So we got a box here. It says packing peanuts on it. Um, assuming he wrote that on there, if so, a nice warning, we have a mess, but that's okay. We're going to see what we got in the box here. And I will make sure that you see everything here. I'm trying to use my camera from the side angle today instead of the top down. So what we got in here? I'm pretty sure as soon as everybody sees it coming out, you're going to know the subject matter of said box. We got some labels. The labels duh. We got some books. And I should give you a clue. This, from what I was able to determine, was the person I purchased this from was his father's original system from 40 years ago. Virus protection. Oh, this just tells you about viruses. Okay. Uh, what is this? Oh, orphanware. Oh, that's sweet. I have never seen that one yet. So what else? Got? I can tell you right now, he did a fantastic job boxing this. He did say in an email that he had bought a Commodore 64 once before and it came to him in pieces, so he knows what it means to box and good. So, some Adam printers. Rings. Huh, some labels. That's okay. I don't use a printer anymore, but it's nice to have. Some diskettes. Ooh, a lot of different things in here. I have to go through this stuff because there might be stuff in here that nobody's seen before. Then again, there might not be. You never know. <laughs> Fascinating. Diskettes. Five and a quarter inch diskettes. What else you got here? Got a ribbon. Unopened, unused. That's nice. Where are these? Ah, data packs. Which ones are these? Plain label brand data pack. It's just a blank unopened data pack. It says it has Smart Link on it. What is Smart Link? CPM 102? I don't know. Maybe 102 is his numbering system. I never heard of a version 102. So continue on. What we got in here? This might be a little one. So as Isaac Arthur says, you may want to grab a drink and a snack. And while you're at it, hit the like and subscribe button. Now I do think this is one of the things that I saw that I was very fascinated by in the picture. The pictures, and just so you know, I, I'm I'm kind of working blind here because everything was piled up in like five or six pictures. So I got a good idea what was in there. I will tell you right now. Um, I told him for weight's sake, don't send me the the printer. I don't need that. So, there won't be a printer in here, which this is fine because I got a bunch of them. But there was a bunch of things inside in the photos that I'm like, what is that? Fascinating. So, this is one of those fascinating ones. Yeah, I should tear it. What do we got here? This. 
this appears to be either an Eve or an orphanware serial port. The reason that I say appears to be an Eve or orphanware because I have an orphanware and it looks a lot like this without the, the box is a box of it. That's kind of cool. That's very cool. What is this? It's got a plugs in a joystick adapter. What is this? Oh, oh okay, okay. <laughs> I'm like, oh, 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 what is it? It's the keypad for an Atari 2600 basic programming cartridge. Well, that's pretty darn fascinating. I like how they hook together, too. That is fascinating. Look at that. I'm going to have to get the basic programming cartridge, unless I have it. <laughs> That'd be kind of cool. So, let's not make the pile too big that you can't see over it. I don't know what's in what, so I gotta go through each little package here to see what's in here. But I am very, very impressed with his packaging abilities. Oh, here's something else I saw there too. Yeah, I wasn't sure what this one was. I just saw one thing on it and it gave me an idea what it could be. Eve Electronic assist uh, Systems. Just plugs in. I kind of think this might be a real-time clock. For the atom because it's got a it's got a battery on the top. I don't know. I don't say what it is. We're gonna have to find that out. But that's fascinating. Oh, wouldn't it be great if it's like a speed generator? <laughs> That'd be nice. Ah, here come the packing peanuts. I'm making a mess on the floor. I'll clean them up later. So what we got in here? Oh, let's see. Oh, we have an atom cradle with controller and it's not broken. <laughs> Uh, we got some Atari 2600 paddles, which are useless on the Atom, but great for the Atari. What else we got in here? Oh, we got another Atom controller. All right. And another Atom controller. Very nice. I want a whole bunch of those little RF shields that came with them that I need to take off now because, as I said in a few other videos before, I really don't care if anybody listens to AM radio any longer. What else we got here? Ooh, this is software. Oh, letters and forms. I've had this and many others like it, but it's still cool. Letters and forms. Adam software. Paper. This is a little heavy one. It's like Christmas in April. I think I know what this is from the feel of it. This feels like it's an expansion module one. It is. An expansion module one for the ColecoVision slash Coleco Atom. Which kind of makes sense since he has a bunch of Atari stuff here. So here's the Atari parts to let you run it. Okay, that's nice. And one last thing in this box here. These are like books. They will put the box with a little bit of peanuts in it. One of the loaded with peanuts. I've shipped things and I've gone out and I've bought the giant trash bag bag full of peanuts. And I, whenever I'm shipping, I put it in a bag first so that the peanuts don't get in it. Then I just fill the box with peanuts. So we got books here for the atom, I assume, but maybe not. Smart filer, okay. Quick reference guides and error sheets. Some more bling. Soft sync personal accountant. Disk manager, smart key chart and reference. Accessing your disk drive kind of makes me think we got a disk drive in here. Troubleshooting, Microworks Operation Manual, ColecoVision Expansion Module, Atom Link Mod Modem. Ooh, an, oh, ooh, a ColecoVision branded Atom 64K memory expansion package. Nice. Smart Writer, Typing with the Atom, Programming with the Atom. The first book of Atom. Such a pretty computer. It had such potential. The Atom Home Computer. I don't remember seeing this one yet. This is probably one of those books where they did the Atom Home Computer and the Apple and the Commodore 64 and everything else. And it's basically the exact same thing. It's just they changed the code to match the program the computer or change some things. Just to match the computer they were talking about. All right. So now let's get the next small box. Ugh. Small box number two. 
This one says atom parts on it, so I'm assuming maybe there's atom parts on this thing. We shall find out, shall we not? All right, what we got in here? We got packing paper, lots and lots of packing paper, stuff. Uh, yeah. More manual things. What we have here? What is this? I don't know what game this is from, but that's fascinating. Okay, Mega Ray, Space Maker, Brain Stampers, Dragon's Lair Manual. Star Wars, the arcade game for the ColecoVision Fortune Builder, D-Base 2. Hmm. I believe it was D-Base 2. It may have been a different program for CPM. I'm not sure which one it was, and this, my memory is a little it's a bit hazy because this would have been 40 years ago. But I do recall a CPM programming having a problem. I re remember reading about the CPM program having a problem that when you went to save whatever you were doing, it worked fine. But if you did a save as, or save new, or save copy, or whatever they called it then, it would format the disk first and then put it in. And from what I recall, and this could all just be um, myth or hearsay or whatever, but from what I recall is that when they finally did release the version, the command was format and save. So when you have a problem you can't fix, you say heck with it. I'm going to leave it the way it is and we'll just give it a new name. So yeah, we got some things here. Um, this looks like it was um, part of the Atom book that got cut out of it. All right, what we got in here? Oh, well, we got a logo binder. No data pack in there, so maybe the data pack's floating around. If not, I got that. We got another binder. This is a CPM 2.2 and assembler. No data pack in here either. Some paper clips marking his favorite spots. Let's see, like this one right here. What is he marking here? CPM editor. <laughs> Ed. Oh, that thing sucks. But yeah, um, CPM assembler. Oh, he. Oh, see, he got little notes on his thing in here. He must have been doing some assembly coding. Maybe there's something on those diskettes we can find. Some fascinating old things that we've seen. This is an interesting shape. What is this one? Plus a piece of like USB keyboard that's got thrown in there because it was in the box. <laughs> All right. Okay, how many times was it wrapped before it I swear this guy was like, I I'm going to send him an extra. Darn guy, you were great on packaging. I'm going to send you an extra. Oh, look at what we got. I haven't seen one of these in a long time. Well, that's an Atom keyboard, yes. But it's in the packaging that Radio Shack put it in when they were selling the keyboards for $5.95. So this is a brand new and never been used Atom keyboard still in the packaging with the originals. This is freaking awesome. I like that. That's a nice what we got here? We got a power brick. We got a power brick wrapped up in this. This is some strange, it feels like paper, but it's got like a padding to it. Oh, we oh, we got an added disk drive power supply. Oh, and that and the diskettes floating around. Maybe we got a disk drive in here. We'll have to see. Uh, bunch of cables. What do we got here? We got, um, I got a video monitor cable. I got a sound splitter cable. I've got, I'm going to assume, okay, oh, that, nope, that, that's not an assumption. That is an Atom Link modem cable. Another Atom Link modem cable. This one right here, I'm going to, with that on there, I'm going to assume is a disk drive cable. And a keyboard cable, obviously. And all the all the clips are on them still, which is awesome. By the clips, I mean the clips on the ends of these jacks. They break off with age, and then you don't have them. Adam Calc binder. Nice. I got all of them, but it's nice to have extras. Maybe this one.
Ruth doesn't want to cut through. Look at that. Look at cut. Ah. This is an Adam keyboard. Sweet. And nice. Come on. Open up, says me. Adam keyboard. Oh, and it's got, it's got the discoloration. He must have opened it up or this fell out of it because he saved the little washer that goes inside that holds the metal bracket in, or holds the metal RF shield on it. Add a keyboard with discoloration. And I'm going to assume it probably worked because we have the other one in the bag that wasn't put in yet. So I'm assuming that one probably still works. We got some more books. Professional CPM software from the Adam from West Co. Uh, Adam read me first kit, Uncle Ernie's toolkit. Uncle Ernie, what is your toolkit about? Fascinating. Getting started with the Adam. The Adam Companion. I do believe I've had this one at one point. Did I see the receipt in there? I did see the receipt right there, right there. Right there. It says nine ninety five on the outside, but. Oh, ew, oh, it's faded away to nothing. We can't, I was hoping to see the date on here, but nope, darn. That's cool. At B. Dalton Books for $9.95. Where's the like marked down 99 cents? So he must have bought that one new. Oh, this is a shoe box. And it says Atari carts on it. So I'm going to assume there's probably Atari carts in here. Let's see. My pile's getting big. Oh, yeah, there's a party carts in here, right? Let's just get a. Well, there's other carts too. Campaign 84, Burger Time, Montezuma's Revenge. These are all ColecoVision. You can tell the difference because ColecoVision has the angles of Target Square. Face Maker, Jukebox, Pitfall 2. This is good because I got Pitfall 2. But I just had the empty case, so I made an e or made a PCB to put it in, but it's not original. Fortune Builder, okay. Smurf Paint and, Paint and Play Workshop. Omega Race. Spy Hunter. I've never seen Spy Hunter. Brain Strainers. I don't recall that one. Okay, that's gonna be. Oh, there's the basic programming cartridge. Sweet. I can try that on the Atari. Circus Atari. Star Raiders. Donkey Kong, Return of the Jedi, Asteroids, Star Wars the Arcade Game for the ColecoVision, nice, Cubert, uh, I only got like 50 of these, but Cubert, Pitfall for the Atari, 50 Telegames, I've got like 100 Atari games, so I got almost every one of these, Space Invaders, Pac-Mans, Missile, wait, 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 we'll just leave right here. And all these others, Missile Command, Combat, Super Breakout, Defender, Warlords, Maze Crazy, even Cops and Robbers. So, we got a lot of Atari cards there and a lot of legal missions. And there's another shoebox here, so I'm going to assume that's probably more of the same, but you never know. This is like a gift that keeps on giving. Wasn't that the jelly in National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation? Jelly of the Month? Didn't um, Eddie say that was the gift that keeps on giving? I think so. Cousin Eddie. All right, so we got one shoebox full of carts. I'm gonna try to get this one over here in the corner. Let's see, this is the other box that's in there. And that's in that box. Okay, two boxes down, one to go. I got a mess on the floor. Oh, maybe it is a cartridge. I see wiring. Okay. We got, what is this stuff here? Something black. Oh, okay. It's a, it's a video touchpad for the Atari. I have a couple of those right now already. Oh, these, these feel like data packs. Yep, data packs. Let's see what we got here. Got anything interesting? Smart Basic, Smart Filer, Dragon's Lair, CPM 2.2, Smart Logo, Buck Rogers, Personal Accountant, copy of it, Adam Link version 2 written on here, Blank Data Pack.
It says Falco. Sis files? I have no idea. Um, enhanced CPM for extra printer. Interesting. Adam Cow. Adam Link original, still packaged. Still in the original stuff here. Video tunes. Microworks. No, oh, it's just Microworks. Okay. Not sure what Microworks is, but that's what it is. And Adam Link version one old. So he had. He must have really used his Adam for a lot of telecommunications because he had the old. Then he had version two written on it. And then he has this one right here. See, that one does say two on the label there. And this one doesn't have a number at all on it. Then this one doesn't have a number either, but it's still shrink wrap. So that's the original packaging for the original software. Actually, I'm going to put these back in here, along with these other three loose ones I got earlier. I'm trying to get a little organized as I go along. That's very nice. All right, now time for the big box. Surprisingly, the big box is not as heavy as the little box, little boxes. So I'm assuming this is a lot more padding than the little boxes were. Oh yeah, a lot more padding in there. Let me get a drink of my coffee while we're waiting. Before I get started, because I'm getting dry mouth. Padding. Paper. 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 It's a whole bunch of paper and packing material. This has a nice feel to it. I'm going to assume what it is, but everybody at home, try to try to take a guess. What could this be? Yeah, you might be right, you might be wrong. But I think I really do know what it is now. Based on the feel and the sound for that matter. Yeah, it is. It is exactly what I thought it was. It is an atom disk drive to go with the atom diskettes and the atom power supply. Serial number 15563 is an early bird. Sweet, Adam dish dry. Packing material. And I'm going to assume by shape and size, this is an Adam computer, but we're going to find out. We never want to assume. Let's just make sure there's, okay, nothing left in the packing material. Turn it over. Yes, it's an Adam computer. It's a CPU. Given there, everything came here. Oh, a little nut thing that says expansions inside bubble wrap. Oh, okay. What expansions they are, we'll find out. Let's see, we have an Atom computer here. And the first thing I always look at an Atom computer is before I do anything else, I always look down in there. And inside, you can see, or maybe you can't, but you can see the rubber is still on the data drives, which means they haven't melted. Does it mean they work? No. Does it mean they at least they're not melted and stuff? Expansions inside, but wrapped. Thank you. Yes, they are inside, but wrapped. What do we got in here? Well, let's see. First off, we have an add link modem. I like that. That goes with the whole set that we have here. This is. Ha 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 What we got here? It's a memory expansion, I can tell you that. Now, the fascinating thing, we had, where is that? Where is it? It's in here somewhere. Where did that paper go? It's in here, just bear with me, guys. I want to find something in here. Oh, I got more back here, too. Just bear with me. I just want to find that thingy. 
right here. We have this right here, the Clico 64K memory expansion. Okay. But what do we have here? Is this an actual Clico one or is this an aftermarket? Oh, they're connected together. So we have a printer card slash addresser card. What a printer card does, it gives you a print, uh, you can plug in a parallel printer to the Atom. But this little wire here and a couple of support chips go over here to help you toggle the RAM on and off. And this, I don't know. I don't know. Is this a, I can see it's 64K because it has one, two, three, four, it has eight 64K chips, or eight 64 chips in here, one bit chips, so, but I don't know, is this an aftermarket, because they don't have any names on it, it just says HE3VO on this one, and this one says HEM-10, I'm going to assume these are aftermarket, and they're not ColecoVision, because I don't think ColecoVision made it, well actually no, if you look, ColecoVision's shape is totally different, okay. yeah, so that's not a ColecoVision memory expansion. Well, the Coleco. It's an Atom memory expansion, but it's not, I don't believe it's one from Coleco. This is aftermarket. I don't think Coleco ever made theirs. I think they talked about it, but that was it. They may have, and if they do, Rich Dorico has one. But this is fascinating. And then, of course, we have the Atom. And the Atom is a great shape. Right? Beautiful. Beautiful. Solid. Very nice. Open this up in here. Beautiful inside. Yeah, dude, I got a good bunch of stuff here to deal with, huh? Look at the mess I got. I've got a complete set. The only thing I'm missing, like I said, is the printer because I didn't need him to ship the printer because I already have printers. I don't need that. There's two things I said don't ship. The um, I'm just noticing this right here. The MX64 memory expansion is from Orphanware. Is that? What that one is, the orphanware memory expansion. You know, this thing has a address of card selected to it, then it has to have more. Let's see, this one has 81464 chips. This may be a 128k memory expansion. Not a 64k. That's nice. But yeah. So, I'm sorry I got quiet here all of a sudden. I was trying to find some numering, lettering, or whatever it says on here. But that, that's, yeah, that's very, very fascinating. So here we have it. My little, little mail call here. Big mess now that I gotta clean up, but that's it's totally worth it. I gotta find a place to put it. My my office is getting full quick. But there we have it. Whole bunch of cool stuff. I'm really fascinated by this right here. Yeah, I have seen demos of the Atari basic programming and I know that it, it's dumb and it sucks. But I'm really fascinated by it. I like, I love the letters. You, you have a keyboard here. I'm looking at it. You got a keyboard here. Well, you got some of the letters you got to like double up on. But that's pretty freaking cool. <laughs> have a great day.